And it's really the trend that we've been seeing, drought conditions leading to extreme fire conditions. Um, could have uh, lung cancer after that. And my heart goes out to these people out here. I mean, we didn't really do much. We just kind of documented it and wet the, wet the, the deck. Yeah, the yeah. deck was was what we watered down with. I know. I nearly thought I was going to die out there. Proper. Let's go. Let's go. There's a guy down the gully. It's right. gully. No, Clancy. At one stage. I'm out there and I'm trying to get like a shot of the fireman. Gust of wind came and brew I felt engulfed in the fire. Are you serious? No, it was crazy. Hey, break it up. Hey no mama, be safe. Be safe. <laughs> be, be safe. Everyone's like, oh the fire! Guys, that was fucking crazy. Man, he called me, he said Chad, and I know I knew why he was calling me. He was like you want to go shoot that fire, don't you? And he was like, yeah. I'm like, I'm on my way to pick you up. Literally in five minutes, Chad was at my door and we, we came here and... Yo, girl, I wasn't expecting it to be this bad, I mean... No. Oh, that was crazy. At the moment, we still got more than 20 firefighting Ten vehicles on the scene with uh, approximately 80 firefighters. Um, mostly monitoring the residential properties as our um, main concern is that the fire comes down, signal you'll... Uh, towards those residential properties. Guys, is the whole is it all like uh, controlled? Where we that side hectic. Are people getting evacuated out the houses? That side, the last one. So the legends keeping us all safe. Yes. yes. Thank you guys. 